Well, hello, Bob Dendry here, and welcome back to City Skylines, where we are building the town of Lorikeet Valley. So, uh, there was no video last week, you probably noticed, or you probably didn't actually, but uh, yeah, I was feeling a little bit unwell with COVID. Um, so I'm feeling much better now, and I'm uh, ready to jump in and play some more City Skylines. Now, before we kick off with our build, I need to fix um, some little map issues, which as you can see, we've got heaps and heaps of uh, trains backing up here, and uh, we're driving on the left here, so these are actually backing up going out of the city. Uh, luckily, we have our camera options on to sort of go outside of the grid area that we've unlocked, but if we go over here and just have a little look, uh, you can see that we've got mm, some issues here where we've got uh, trains backing up and it's probably pretty evident here that our segment here um, where just to go I guess into the back end of City Skylines a little bit this is actually how the edge of the map works there is like a, a little dummy station there um, that passenger trains and freight trains actually go to and unload and that sort of thing so um, this segment here, which is the station segment, isn't long enough. So the trains are blocking stuff and they're not able to leave again, things like that. So we're going to need to fix that. We are going to use our good old network multi-tool here. Um, I'm going to get rid of this node here. And then we're going to use move it. Uh, we've actually just deleted all those trains, which is okay. Um, we're going to use move it here uh, with uh, alt on. And we're just going to move this node way down there. So that will hopefully give us enough room for all of our freight trains to actually fit in here um, without blocking um, sort of both sides of the, uh, of the road there. Now that we've done that, let's get on to our build for today. And I was thinking today we could do um, a little bit more of a tourist draw for the region here. Obviously we've got some money from the government, we've set up some, some more residential, we've got our lovely university here as well that we've started to uh, develop. Next I think we're going to build a zoo. So I was having a look um, sort of during the week while I was off sick, um, just doing a bit of research trying to work out how this might work. And I haven't tinkered with this part of the map at all. Obviously, uh, as you can see, it's outside of the city limits. But if we go to our, uh, I'll just close off Unified UI as well. If we go to our terrain heights, look at that. We've got a nice, lovely level pad that we can start with. And we can probably take it out a little bit further towards our river. We can maybe use some, uh, some keys, stuff like that to give us a little bit more space to work with. But we obviously don't want to push it into the mountain too much because that is a little bit silly. <laughs> to say the least. Um, but let's start off. Let's get this purchased. Beautiful. So that's all we can purchase right now. We still need to uh, unlock, unlock, I should say, some more uh, uh, achievements. But this is plenty, I think, in terms of got some space on this side. And probably we can do a little bit on the other side as well, maybe. But before we go too much further, I'm just going to... Um, just trying to level this terrain a little bit more. Okay, so we've got a nice level pad here. Um, our sort of shoreline here is a little bit more um, sort of pronounced now, but I think it's still looking okay. And now we need to work out how we're actually going to get people over here. So we've got a couple of options here. We've got our collector here, our link road, and we also have our birdsong way as well. I'm thinking probably um, the city link or the city link road is going to be better off. Um, that saves us having to sort of build a bridge over our rail line, but we could potentially build maybe just a local road connection over the top as well, a little bit later down the line. But I'm thinking probably around about here, just where this uh, where the street name is, is probably going to be a good place for us to start. And we will be using our... Uh, this road here. And we're going to go with a nice freeform road.
we've got a nice little uh, base to start with. We also have tree anarchy on, so let's uh, quickly fix that up. Perfect and excellent. So we're right in the middle of our contour that we were targeting. That is good. I'm just going to quickly use network multi-tool just to give our uh, road here just a little bit of a smooth. Oh, I didn't want to remove the node. My bad. <laughs> um, okay, that's okay. It happens. Accidents happen, right? Okay, once again I can't see the... Uh, percentages which is weird but um yeah now we can uh, go in and lay down our park area that we're going to use for our zoo which is exciting i'm ready for it washington garden i don't think we're going to call it that <laughs> change the name to something else um, but now we need to get in our main zoo entrance to go. I was hoping it would go nicely there. Um, there we go. And we have unlocked um, some starter assets that we can use to start building it up, which is excellent. I'm going to change the name here to the uh, Lorikeet Valley Zoological Park. Oh. Let's try that again. Beautiful. And as you can see, we need all our wonderful services, but I think we're going to start to lay down um, a bit of the layout of the zoo before we go ahead and do that. So what have we got available so far? Let's have a look. So we've got some plazas, cafes, souvenir shops, bathrooms, and we have two or three three animal enclosures that we can use so far. We've got plenty more to uh, unlock as we go ahead, all the way up to level five where we get lions. So I think we're going to just get started. Nice straight little road here. Looks nice. May replace those trees with something different, I think. They probably don't quite fit in with our, uh, with our vibe we've got going here, but that is all right. And then we've got some uh, opportunities to lay down um, some sort of starter assets here right at the beginning. Got a couple of nice plazas as we come in. Your souvenir shop right at the entrance, of course. And probably some restrooms as well. Lovely. It's a nice little start we're making there. And from there we can start to sort of branch off and uh, take our, our paths other places as well. So I think we'll start pretty much like straight, well, we'll use this node, why not? And we'll just build a couple of little stubs there. And start to take some sort of winding roads, probably right up to, to the edge of this mountain here. I'm using probably uh, Taronga Zoo here in Sydney. Um, a little bit as uh, inspiration, but probably not too much. All right, and we've got our birdhouse here. Got our oh, space already occupied. Hey, okay, it's not snapping too well that one, is it? We've got our antelopes as well. Ah, uh, okay. It's not snapping because it actually has a connection or it has a path included in it. That makes sense. I'll allow it.
I'm actually not liking the tree paths, to be honest. I think I might actually get rid of them. Um, the trees, that is. And we can do a bit of our own uh, detailing should we need to. Okay. I can probably take it a little bit further in and we can have like a, some restaurants and stuff um, at the back. Get a couple of cafes down. Um, more restrooms. And we probably have some assets from some of our other types of parks that we could potentially use here. Um, that might give us something sort of cool to look at. Might put down a different type of cafe here. board as well and we can definitely get down uh, some piers as well I think a couple just uh, along the way I think they look quite nice and then we've got our birdhouse which we can get in here and we've got the antelope enclosure So it's a fairly limited, fairly sparse sort of a uh, <laughs> little uh, zoo at the moment, but I think we should be able to, once we level up and we're starting to, you know, unlock some more exhibits, I think it will be not too bad. Let's get a freeform road in here. Alright, let's get our utilities working. And we can probably join up these two, uh, two parts here as well. Beautiful. And next we just need some power. And we've probably got a fairly easy connection we can make just across from our DVD area here. We might use our suburban power lines as well. And we're just going to need to lay a few through the, uh, through the zoo as well. But um, as we develop the zoo more, we can um, start to pull those down, obviously. So that's nice, nice little starting point. And we've got a couple of uh, public transport options we need to look at here as well. Now, we actually have a metro in the, in the CBD here, which I forgot about. I forgot that we even placed that down. Um, and how do I remember that? I might have actually used metro to go out to here to uh, Lafayette Hills, but... We didn't, so that's fine. What we're going to do instead, we're going to use it here in our zoo. And I think a good option here would be uh, one of our um, sunken metro stations here. Potentially just a, a two-platform one, which we could fairly easily just pop on the end of this road here. So I think that is probably a nice little option. Allows us to, to get a little look at our lovely ride uh, Sydney metros we're using for this one. And I'm just going to extend our city circle out to here, um, which we'll then use sort of as a bit of a loop as well. And what we're going to do with our line here, uh, just going to drag it out here, 
this one back in. And we might do a counterclockwise route as well. In fact, this one will be clockwise, with <laughs> the other one's counterclockwise. Hey, perfect. So we're hopefully starting to get some visitors in, though the uh, garbage is apparently piling up. So we are starting to. We've got enough entertainment to do us probably two levels, I think. Um, so we will hopefully um, start to get some people in as well. Uh, we probably do need to add a bus route as well to get people from other areas of the city, as well as um, some car parking as well, I think. So what we might do... And this is going to be... <laughs> Hopefully a lot better than our last attempt at doing a, uh, a car park. So I'll, I'll probably skip through most of this. So, as I said, I <laughs> wasn't going to show that in detail because it was painful last time I did that, but um, I think it's ended up all right. I'm just going to use uh, Move It just to make sure all our heights are correct. So we're going to set them to this height here, which hopefully should get rid of any sort of ugliness. Got a little tiny bit of clipping that we need to fix, but that is nice and easy to uh, solve using the clipping remover, like so. Perfect, and we've got yeah, oodles of car parking for our, uh, our lovely zoo here. So what we might do is just put a couple of paths in as well, uh, just to enable people to move from the car park into the zoo with a little bit more ease. Perfect, we might actually do that just as a uh, gravel path in fact. That's probably a little bit a uh, bit easier to work with. Okay, how's our park area going now? Lovely, lovely. Got lots of visitors coming in now. Um, have we leveled up? No, we haven't. Never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully we can um, start getting some people coming in. It looks like uh, the Metro is yeah reasonably popular with people wanting to come in, so that is good as well. And we just want to connect up a bus. Um, this is this is an interesting movement happening here. <laughs> um, hmm. What we might do, because I think that's silly. I don't think that quite works. Um, I'm going to use uh, Traffic Manager. No, okay, so that's actually not a node, according to Traffic Manager, or not a junction actually, sorry, I should say. So we can't um, ban crossing there. I was gonna say we might just ban crossing there and give them a little path to walk around. Um, because I was actually going to use this to allow our buses to do a U-turn, but it's, yeah, not, not really, not really safe like that, is it? Oh well, um, <laughs> it'll do, it'll be fine. 
So I'm thinking what we're going to do is have a bus coming from maybe Lafayette Hills uh, just across here. And potentially if we had a second local road connection across, in fact, we're going to do that. Um, we'll add a, a local road connection across here and we will have a uh, probably a bus coming across from maybe Banksia Hills or yeah, Banksia Hills. So we're just going to go with a nice, probably not a asymmetric road. Um, let's see, how is this going to look going up? We might force it to the ground till about here, and then we can uh, lift it up, hopefully. How does that look? That's yeah, a bit low, but it's okay, we can fix it. And we can just have it come back down again. Okay, so let's fix that this up here. Tiny bit skew if, so we'll get this one and we'll set that height to this height. So it's a little bit straighter. Lift this up a little bit as well. Um, we might also use our node controller to make that one a sloped node. And yeah, that's pretty all right there. We might just increase the height of this one a little bit as well. And we'll give that the sloped treatment as well. So that should be fine there. Okay, so let's have a look at our uh, new um, exhibit at Swoop Unlocked. So we've got a bison enclosure. That's nice and big. And then we have our uh, reptile house. I love I love like reptile houses and stuff like that. The one here in Sydney is really cool. How does that look? I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks good. I think it... Hello? <laughs> yeah, I think that's good there. And where will we put our bison enclosure? We might place that one a little bit sort of further back into our reserved area. What do you reckon? Um... How's that look? Yeah, I reckon that looks pretty schmick. Perfect. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And, ooh. Interesting. A little bit of a gross bit here. Uh, can we fix that with our clipping uh, corrector thing? No, we can't. That's okay. Well, it, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be okay. <laughs> okay, so let's get a bus route or two down. So I'm thinking one from Lafayette Hills. We don't actually have any bus um, buses in Lafayette Hills at the moment. So that'll probably serve for a little bit of sort of local transport within the uh, neighborhood as well. We might have it start down here by our um, townhouse complex, in fact. And we can have it go up past our park, um, up near the station. And then we can have it run express to just out the front of our zoo, and then we'll run it back. Nice, easy one there. And what will our vehicle be? I think we have some zoo buses with ride, maybe? Zoo 
Zoo livery. Let's have a look and see how those look. Hmm, they look all right. They're quite dark though, aren't they? Look at that. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll leave it like that um, and we'll see how we go. We probably don't need that many... Um, that many buses actually running on the line, I think. So we might pull that down to maybe three at the moment, possibly. Where are we? Which one is it? It's this one here, right? Yeah. So we'll pull that down to... Oh, wait, we can't do this, can we? Let's turn off budget control. And let's remove some vehicles. Let's go with three, and we can add more on if we need to. So that's nice. And we've already got people lining up. Wonder where they're going. Going to... Giga store. Okay, so that's interesting. People are using this to go into the city. Maybe they are... Yeah, I don't know. Don't know what traffic route that's going to be. Maybe hopping up and... That doesn't make... Or actually, maybe jumping off at the zoo and getting on the metro. That still doesn't make any sense to me, but... <laughs> it is what it is. Who else do we have? Where are you going? You're going to the pharmacy. You're going... Why are you going to the pharmacy there? Do you not have a pharmacy <laughs> over in Lafayette Hills? That's that is uh, that's interesting. That's an interesting one. <laughs> okay, but yeah, people are using it, so that that's good. That's all we really wanted. And yeah, we're going to run a bus probably from Banksia Hills um, through to our zoo as well. In fact. I'm actually going to run one from Lorikeet Valley. We've got a few, quite a few actually, routes sort of serving this area at the moment. And our <laughs> university is still no good. Um, so I think we might do that. I'm just wondering if we could maybe go via a different route. Potentially, I'm thinking maybe we could go via this road here rather than down our main street. Um, give our citizens sort of an alternative uh, route they could potentially use. So we might actually do that. And that is going to just hop over here. And how are we going to get back? We might have to allow U-turns. Definitely going to have to allow U-turns or that is not going to work. <laughs> and there we go we'll run that with our uh, we'll turn off budget control and we will use our zoo livery as well so our entertainment we're once again all fine to do our next level up so we're just waiting for more visitors what we might do as well uh, um, you will advertise this one and we'll make it our main part for the moment as well to um to hopefully attract more people to come in while that is um all going it's i think it's probably time for us to consider where our next residential expansion is going to be as you can see we've got as always massive <laughs> massive residential demand um that seems to be the going concern here <laughs> at the moment and probably we're going to expand over here with um, near Valley Side. I've mentioned before, I'm not happy with Valley Side. You only need to look at it from above and you can see how, you know, dodgy <laughs> the design is. So this will probably be the case of a new developer is coming in to, to take over sort of this section here. Um, they might even give it its own um, uh, estate sort of thing. Why can I not see my toolbar? Um, so we're going to sort of work on developing this little section here, which is Grove Park at the moment, apparently. So let's have a look at our topography. Um, actually not too bad. 
There's a little little dip down here, which is fairly flat. I wonder if we have some sort of natural resource. No, we don't actually. Um, I mean, we've got forestry, obviously, um, but it's just a, a fairly nice sort of section of land to develop, apparently. So let's get some roads laid down there. And we've got not too much area here, but we've got definitely a nice sort of central um, hub we can lay down here. We're going to go with 12 by 12 here as well. It, it definitely did not mean to do that. Beautiful, and we can sort of have some roads going up towards uh, valley side from here as well. So if we can just join up there. Nice. And... Hmm. Join up here as well. And just generally do a couple of... Um, couple extra blocks. These ones aren't going to be perfectly flat compared to our first sort of four blocks we put down, um, but they should be a little bit better. Okay, this is a bit of a strange grid pattern, but, um, yeah, it's, oh, hello, that's not, uh, that's not a 90 there. <laughs> that's a 90. Okay, uh, must, I must have just sort of missed it, um, sort of skipping across. And how does that look there? Oh, no, <laughs> that's a bit close. Let's see if we can just shift, shifty this over a little bit. Okay. Perfect. And let us get some pipes laid down. And join back up. Perfect. And we potentially might look to introduce a little bit of medium density here as well. Um, what are our policies like? Uh, not our themes, our policies. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a high-rise band on here and we're going to go over to Lorini. And Riverside and we're going to take off that high-rise band. Um, also, potentially in Green Hills as well because I think it may delete our tall building we put up here as well. Here. So what we're doing here is we can lay down some um, some um, high density residential and it's not going to put up like massive tall towers. It's going to be sort of low rise, high density, sort of similar to what most of, um, of Green Hills looks like over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to get down a little bit of commercial. We're going to sort of respect this little node we've got here. And we'll probably reserve this area for more park space, I think, as well. We'll get a little bit of uh, more commercial in this sort of area here as well. And then what we're going to do is add a few just small nodes of a uh, high density here. Um, so these are going to sort of border this park space. So it's going to be a, a really good amenity for those residents. We might put a dog park down there as well. And the rest we're just going to mostly lay down as low density. We might actually do this one as high density as well. Uh, 
Okay. So that should be nice. And we will get our... Uh, if I can remember where to go. <laughs> we'll get our dog park down. Where is the dog park? It is here. Might put a couple next to each other. Um, so there might be like a... Well, actually, what I'll do, we'll have them face each other. I think we can do that. Oops. Will they work with a... Hmm, maybe not. Maybe they won't work the way I'm thinking. <laughs> Will they work with a path? No, they don't. That's unfortunate. Um, that's okay. We'll, we'll just turn them around so they're facing the right way. Um, but yeah, what, what I envisage this would be would be like... One of these is sort of the, the big dog area and one of them is the little dog area, which you quite often see in... Um, dog parks, because obviously little dogs tend to think they are big dogs, and big dogs don't like little dogs acting like big dogs. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get just a little gravel path through here. Have it curve around. Do we have any other... Playgrounds or anything like that we could fit in here, potentially. Might just sneak that in there and we can um, replace that uh, path. In fact, let's just... Oh, hang on. <laughs> Let us just anarchy that through. I think that will be absolutely fine. Just straight through. Perfect. That there's actually no encroachment there at all. So that is a lovely little park district. We have our residential estate to place down. Has completely destroyed our demand. <laughs> so that is good to see. Um, our population is once again growing, which is great. Heading back over to our zoo, how are we looking? So we've got a few people coming in and out. Got a few people waiting at our metro stations, but not too many. And in terms of our visitors, yeah, we're very quickly, in fact, heading towards the uh, target there we have of 2,500. So I think by the end of this episode, we potentially um, will have a three-star zoo on our hands. Well, I think that's going to be about all we have time for today. So we've made a start on our lovely zoo here. There is plenty of development to go to bring it all the way up to a five star zoo and we will be continuing to work on that through the next episode or maybe the next couple of episodes. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. Links to my social media are all in the description. So please jump on there, you know, like, subscribe, follow, do all of that wonderful stuff. And if you want to join the conversation, the link to my Discord is also below. Should you want to provide a little bit of financial support to the channel, you can find Buy Me A Coffee down there too. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry. This is City Skylines. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.